There is actually a problem with context seven, but it's more of a problem with how you are using it than a problem with context seven itself. So let's talk about it. The way that I even noticed this is this command right here, shad cn dash UI at latest in it. It was saying the shad cn UI package is depreciated. Please use the shad cn package instead. And this got me thinking, if I'm using context seven, why is this happening? Context seven promises up to date, like within the hour library information. So if I search shared CN and then within here, I search for this and show results. I was curious. I said to myself, is context seven wrong or am I wrong? And it turns out context seven is correct. You can see they don't have this dash UI. This dash UI is probably from last year. I was saying use context seven. And then after you've used context seven, then start doing the commands, but it kept getting this command wrong. And I was just thinking to myself, what the hell is going on? So I came up with this prompt and this new methodology of doing things. But basically the way this works is before it does anything, it creates two MD files, a research.md file, and a design.md file. It says, do not make any assumptions when creating the .md files. You must adhere to exactly what you find inside context seven. Commands, versions, etc. are vital to this. Do not go off your own knowledge at any point and follow exactly what is found inside context seven with great levels of accuracy. And then for the first time, I ran a prompt with shad cn. It used the right bloody command. And then we have design.md, we have research stack.md, and then look at this beautiful thing right here. If I write shad cn, look at the command. This may seem very, very small, but this command is actually the up-to-date and correct command. 